Hi everyone, uh, my name is Tiffany Dufo, and this is our one of our studio cats, Imhotep the Sphinx. And I am creating this video in an effort to help everybody who has a Facebook portal and has found out because of the fact that they use the portal to go on Facebook Live that Facebook in its infinite wisdom, or should I say meta in its infinite wisdom, is deciding to take away Facebook Live from the Facebook portal. Um, I know that this may not seem like a big deal to some people, um, but for a lot of people who are radio broadcasters, um, content creators, uh, video producers, businesses, people that use this for meetings and things like that, it's very, very uh, egregious to those of us who use the Facebook portal to do Facebook Live um, because for, I would say, probably 95% of us, the whole reason that we bought a Facebook portal was to be able to do Facebook Live. So I don't know why Facebook is deciding to do this. I don't know what their ulterior motives are. Um, I can only guess that they're going to take Facebook, the ability to go Facebook Live off of the portal, and then probably a couple months down the line, they're going to come up with a new piece of equipment um, <laughs> that you can use to do Facebook Live, probably to just try to soak more money out of everybody. Um, we actually use uh, our Facebook portal, we have two of them, uh, to do Facebook Live during our live radio broadcasts, which are every Saturday night. Um, you might notice by kind of looking behind me that we actually, let me sit down so that it focuses, we actually have two Facebook portals set up in our studio. We have Facebook portal number one, which is over there, on top of our computer console. And that's where we used to do Facebook Live from. And then we have portal number two, which is connected to the big screen TV that's behind me. And we would use that for what we call guest vision So basically when we had an interview guest that would come on, they would be able to show up on the big screen behind me. With Facebook deciding to take away Facebook Live, we have been on the hunt for the past almost a week of trying to figure out a workaround for it. <laughs> I know a lot of people in forums, not only for businesses, but also for um, broadcasters and content creators have been trying to figure out a way to get around all of this. So that is why I have created this video because I want to tell you how to do it so that you don't get locked out of being able to use your portal to do Facebook Live. So here's the deal. Um, it can all be solved if you have a pro Zoom account. Now that is a little pricey. Um, it's $150 for the year. You have to have at least the pro account. That is the cheapest paid account that Zoom offers. Um, but they do have a sale going on right now. I actually just signed up for my paid Zoom account. And so it's $150 a year, but they have 30% off right now. So if you get it, I don't know when the sale ends. The sale might end in a day or two. According to the message on the website, it said it ended today, but that might just be a call to action, trying to hurry you up to buy it kind of a thing. Um, but right now they are running a 30% off sale if you pay for the first year. So that takes like $45 off the price. So you end up getting it for $105 after tax, depending on what state you're in, after tax, it comes to like 109 and some change. And that'll cover you for a full year. Um, it does auto renew after the first year, but you can go in and cancel that if you want to, um, the auto renew. Anyway, if you get a pro Zoom account, you can actually stream directly to Facebook from your pro Zoom account. You can also stream directly to YouTube. The only catch to this is that this is a feature that is built into the Zoom software that you install on your computer. Um, the reason I mention that is because we had originally hoped that with getting the Pro Zoom account that we could use the Zoom app that is on the Facebook portal to stream directly to Facebook. That does not work because again, Facebook and their infinite wisdom and trying to basically keep control over what everybody does, um, does not have a full capability app for Zoom on the portal. 
they have a trimmed down Zoom app on the portal. Um, and what that means is that you can use Zoom on the portal. Um, you can do video, they can hear you, um, all of that kind of stuff, but it does not have the, the feature that you need to be able to stream to Facebook. However, there is a workaround. Zoom does not limit how many times you sign into your own meeting using your credentials. So here's what we did, and this is how you can get around it as well. I have my pro Zoom account. On a actual real desktop computer, I scheduled my meeting. I then uh, turned around when I was on my desktop computer and I started the meeting. Once I start the meeting, there is a button down at the bottom. So when you're in your Zoom software on your desktop computer, you have your little control bar at the bottom. There's a little button that has three dots on it, three horizontal dots right next to each other. You click on that, that stands for more, like more features. You click on those three dots and a pop-up window comes up that says, go live to Facebook or go live to YouTube. I think there's, one other one that you can do, which I think is workplace on Facebook. Um, so you can select which one you want to do. If you select go live to Facebook, then what it'll do is it'll open another window in your browser. This is why you have to do it on a desktop. Another window in your browser that will ask you to confirm your Facebook credentials. So you have to give them your username, your password. You have to tell them what pages that you run that you want them to be allowed zoom to be allowed to post content to you can select to have it just go to your profile you can select to have it go to pages that you manage or anything like that once you confirm your facebook credentials and you confirm what page you want your video to go to just like if you were doing facebook live you have to say who gets to see this video kind of a thing you click ok then it's going to take you back to your zoom software again you're still on your desktop computer and it's going to give you a notification that says you're live on Facebook and you say, okay, then um, what I personally did um, is because I, I don't even have a camera or a microphone hooked up to my desktop computer. I want to be able to do this in my studio with my portal. So what I did is I uh, muted everything on my desktop zoom. So I muted the microphone, even though there's not one connected and I muted or turned off my camera so that it would just show my profile picture. Then I went into the room with my portal, which in my case is my studio. I launched on the portal. I launched the Zoom app. It automatically logged me into my pro account. This is the same singular one pro account that I paid for, the same one I used on my desktop upstairs. And my desktop upstairs is still running. It's still a participant in my meeting. Um, so I get on my portal, log into my Zoom account, logs me into my pro Zoom account, and it'll show me what meeting is going on at the time. And I just click on it and click start. And what'll happen is it will create a second instance of my Zoom profile in my meeting. So let me actually see if I can get you to see the screen behind me. I don't know if you'll be able to see if it'll focus in on it. I don't think it's going to. Probably not. Hold on, maybe. Yeah, autofocus isn't going to do it. Um, anyway, the point is, is that if you were to look at my, my computer, my TV screen behind me, which has my other portal on it, Oh wait, is it gonna do it now that I'm standing up? Nope, not high enough. Um, I wonder if I can screen share on here. Hold on, let me do gallery, share screen. Oh, no, I can't share my screen. Okay, well that's not gonna work either. But um, my point is, is that uh, if you were to look at your portal screen or your desktop computer screen, which is still doing Zoom upstairs or in the other room, 
you would actually see that you have at this point two participants in your meeting both of them are you one of them will have just your slide on it because you're not using that one that's your desktop um and that'll say in my case it says cry radio or tiffany dufo and then you will see a second participant which is also you and that is your portal so in effect as long as you set your view to show speaker meaning who's talking in the meeting since you're not going to be talking on your desktop you're going to be in the other room with your portal and talking on your portal it will show you full screen and in that sense you can go ahead and stream from your facebook portal to facebook live using a backwards hack from zoom um, that allows you to have multiple users uh, from the same account in one meeting and that's it a um, couple things to note: you will need to make sure that you go into once you get your pro zoom account you will have to go into your zoom settings um, just go into like my account and go into preferences in zoom actually on the website not in a meeting on the website so once you log into zoom.com put in your credentials and you see your name and all your billing information you'll want to go into my account and go into preferences and there is a ton of settings, but there is one setting that is in regards to enabling live streaming. So you will have to go in there and enable um, live streaming to Facebook, to YouTube, or whichever one you want. Um, unfortunately, you can only stream to Facebook or YouTube one at a time. You can't stream to both at the same time, um, but this is a way to get around the fact that all of us who spent hundreds of dollars on Facebook portals will no longer be able to use our portals to do Facebook Live. You can if you get a Zoom Pro account. So that is it. That is all I have to say. Um, I will also post a link with this video that will give information on how to stream to Facebook from Zoom. This is a FAQ from zoom.com. So uh, it'll probably give more technical details than I did with my description. Um, but I'm hoping that this little chat will help somebody out there because it's not okay, in my opinion, uh, what, what Facebook decided to do. Unless they want to give us all refunds, which we know is not going to happen. So um, I'm going to turn off. I have multiple cameras. I'm going to turn off all my cameras right now. But uh, thank you to everybody who watched my test and good luck to everybody out there who is trying to figure out how to use their Facebook portal for more than just a paperweight. All right. Bye, everyone.